This is the story of Timbuktu, a community in the southeastern state Andhra Pradesh, and the organic dairy Akshaya Kalpa. Timbuktu is a lighthouse example combining agroecology, organic agriculture, and social entrepreneurship. The socio-ecological community opens up new perspectives for the rural populations in India and can be a best practice for projects in other parts of the world. Bablu Ganguly and Mary Fatamatam founded Timbuktu, an intentional community and collective in 1990. It's good for the earth. We know that it's good for our environment. However, organic agriculture does so much more. Organic agriculture contributes really to community building and social well-being. The dry barren land turned into green and into a successful collective. They were convinced that something must be done for the further development and support of the rural population. Today, Timbuktu works as a model for other eco-villages and communities. The non-profit organization works in 182 villages with about 25,000 families. The socio-ecological community opens up new perspectives by adding value to crops and market them together. Smallholder farmers are empowered through organic farming but also rights of children, youth, people with disabilities and Dalits, the untouchables, are tasks maintained by Timbuktu. The collective has also played a critical role in the promotion of organic farming and marketing organic products in India and the concept of environmental sustainability. Timbuktu has promoted the concept of producer-owned business enterprises through cooperatives by incorporating the ideas of solidarity, transparency and democratic co-determination. Everything in the community is organized into Sanghas, a very transparent and democratic system with shareholders and elected directors that meet at least once a month. People want good food, yet not everybody wants to pay the premium that organic demands. This is where the ideal of common goods economy comes in. All should understand that the four principles that define organic health, ecology, fairness and care lead to revitalization of the local economy, environmental sustainability, human dignity, solidarity, social justice, transparency and democratic co-determination. But the best thing for me was to see their pride when we were with them on the field, how the agricultural skills actually were brought back and were uh, called upon when doing organic agriculture. Tip Tour in the state of Karnataka is the home of Akshaya Kalpa, organic dairy. Uh, we are working with the smallholder farmers and trying to groom them as entrepreneurs. 
and in this entrepreneurs journey they are producing organic milk where we would like to see their income levels are substantially okay, enhanced meantime the consumers also uh, would pay i think better prices okay for organic milk so keeping these two things in mind we are going to villages and selecting one or two farmers and uh, we are making them as role model farmers broad assortment milk curd butter cheese is delivered daily to thousands of clients in bangalore Sandeep Kamath and I'm happy to talk to you about Akshay Kalpa, a project uh, in Tiptur, uh, northwest of Bangalore. And this is the largest organic dairy project uh, in India. From Sandeep, we learn that Akshay Kalpa is processing around 120,000 liter milk a day. So this is delivered to 30,000 clients by now. The fresh organic milk is gathered from small farms directly cooled and manufactured in the dairy with its professional equipment. which is highly demanded in India is also produced. The demand for organic milk products has increased a lot. different sorts of cheese are made the own laboratory controls the quality different fodder mixes different races of cows and methods keeping the cows are approved at the model farm close to the dairy ashaya kalpa and the training center gives farmers the opportunity to for improvement. A young biodynamic farmer lady works at Akshaya Kalpa for an internship. Ragu Ram is the training coordinator for the model farm and he explains so here they will what farmers can learn what needs to be done scientifically uh, to get my uh, dairy more productive and uh, profitable. So they will follow follow that uh, those practices here, and the same thing they go and implement at the farm level. Young people are again interested in agriculture, stay in their villages, as their is good perspective with the farming organically. Now they are able to uh, get more milk with a proper feeding uh, after TMR. They are uh, able to produce around 15 liters, uh, 16 liters in 